Mrs. Powell, I don't know. This is my fifth video and we're going to do some colour mixing. So I'm hoping that you might have some food colouring in your pantry and all you then need is some glasses and some water and we'll be ready to get started. So I hope you really enjoy this one. It's quite fun and it teaches us a little bit more about the colour mixing colour theory. So we're going to be mixing primary colours to make secondary colours today. Okay, have fun! Okay, so I've got three glasses of water. I've got my food colours, which I've taken out of the packet here. And they are the primary colours. So those of you who do class with me every week know when I say red, yellow, blue, you guys say, eyes on you. So we're reminded all the time what our primary colours are. So I'm going to take the red first. I'm going to put a drop. I've just filled my glasses with a little bit of water, only a quarter full. So some red, some yellow, and some blue. Wow, I love watching it go in. It sort of does this explosion and then slowly seeps out. Looks kind of cool. All right, so I'll just move our food colors to the side. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Red, yellow, blue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I've got more glasses and I'm gonna put a glass in between. I need to move these over a little bit. In between each glass like that. Move them up so you can see. There we go. I'm just checking that you can see. I hope it's not too bad. I might just move the camera over a bit. Sorry everybody. Okay, so we've got red, yellow, blue and in between, hmm, who can predict what colour these two will make? if I mix them here. Now, when we're going to mix them, we could use a syringe. This is what I use to give my kids medicine. <laughs> or you can just use a teaspoon to spoon up some of the water. Now, I've put a little bit of water in each of these cups, or you could simply just tip them a little bit and we'll clean up later. So a bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, What's going to happen? Mix that around a little bit, I think. That's better. <gasps> Ooh, it made green! Did you predict that? Then a bit of yellow over here and a bit of the red. Do you know what it's going to make? That's right. Orange! Cool! really good way to see how the colors work. Blue, a little bit of blue. What happens when I add some red? Purple! Awesome! Really clear way of doing it. And if you had more glasses you could add more and you could make purpley blue and bluey green and bluey yellow and yellowy orange and just keep mixing and you get different shades or if you add more water it'll make them a bit more subtle the colors but I thought I would do something cool just with these ones but you can have a bit more of a play and mix different shades and different colors and add more water and less water now something that's quite interesting is that when you have all these colours, you don't drink them because <laughs> food colouring makes me feel a little bit icky. But I am going to paint with them. So I've got some paper and I've got some brushes. But if you don't have brush, you could just spoon and see what happens. I'm actually going to try that. I'm going to put a bit of orange on here and see what happens if I put a drop on my page. 
Ooh. Cool. But I'm lucky I do have some brushes, but I could use my fingers. Okay, so I'm going to dip my brush in. See if I can do some painting with it. I probably want to wash my brush in between, so maybe another. If some of it's not showing up very well, you might need to put a bit more colour into the water. The blue is certainly very bright. I wonder what the red will do. Yeah, the red's pretty strong too, isn't it? You know what it might be? The secondary colours might not be as bright because I diluted them again. So maybe a bit less water in those glasses or I could have had empty glasses and just poured a little bit of each colour in. But I'm going to do, I've just decided, red, yellow, blue. I'm going to do a beautiful primary colour and see if I can mix them on the page. So I'm going to put some blue like this. Wash my brush. I'm going to dip it in the, yeah, the red. Now what happens? Ooh, am I going to be able to blend and make a bit of purple on the page? If I blend the blue and red together. It doesn't really matter what I'm painting. I'm just having fun exploring the colours. Now if I put some yellow on this side of the blue, will I be able to get a bit of a greeny colour mixing on the page? Uh -huh, there's some greeny colour coming through. Mm. Oh my goodness, my brush is so old all the hairs are coming out of it. it looks like my cat sat on it we can do lots of experiments with our color we'll just see what happens when we mix all these colors you might decide then that you want to actually paint the whole page and let it dry and then you can Cut it up and turn it into something else, paste it into a different shape or you could draw over the top of it once you've got all these cool colours in the background. It's pretty fun. Well anyway, that's a short one but have fun enjoying mixing colours. <laughs>